Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Welcome to Walking the Way of the Cross. Each day we're focusing on a station of the cross, a key step in the journey Jesus made towards death. Today we reflect on his agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. Before we begin, why not take a few moments to get comfortable? Take a couple of deep breaths. Be aware of the presence of God with you now. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. A meditation on the passage of scripture by Philip North, Bishop of Burnley. The little boy waited with absolute patience for his moment. He could have been only two or three, but he timed it to perfection. The moment his mother turned away, he was off, running as fast as his little legs would carry him down the high street, his face alive with joy. Of course, it didn't last long and his mother soon outpaced him. But the look on his face said everything. That short moment of freedom meant everything. That child wanted control over his own life. And that is something we value even more as adults. It means everything to us that we can make our own decisions, begin and end our own relationships, and choose for ourselves where we live and how we earn. In the Garden of Gethsemane, it is this precious control over his own life that Jesus hands over. He could have avoided the cross and lived life exactly as he wanted, but he doesn't. Not what I want, but what you want, he says, and entrusts himself wholly to the Father. Why? because he knows that it is when we willingly hand our freedom over to God that we find in him a freedom that lasts forever. No matter how much we value the capacity to make private decisions, in the end that cannot set us free. Whether we like it or not, we are captives. We are chained up by responsibilities and expectations. We are bound fast by sin, 
and the inevitability of death. But we find freedom when we sign over the rights to our own lives and offer them to the Father. In the short term, that may not be the easiest of paths, but ultimately it is the path of liberation. May I pray for us. Lord Jesus, you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of impending death. Be with those who share that agony today and face death unwillingly. You shared all our fear and weakness. Give us strength and hope when we are fearful and despairing. And help us to trust you who sweated blood so that darkness and death would not be the last word for our lives. Amen. <laughs>